Hello, my name is Joel Lavava, and I am the Franchise King. Today, I want to talk to you about franchising and the three things that you, as a franchisee, can actually control. Because if you don't know this already, the franchise model is one that is very, very strict. It is a rules-based model. So if during the past positions you've had as an employee, you've been not the best rule follower, and you don't plan on being much of a rule follower as a franchise owner, don't do it. I just saved you a couple hundred thousand dollars, I'm telling you. But if you are okay with rules, if you are comfortable following someone else's system, and of course you've done the research to prove that it works, franchise ownership may be for you. That said, here are three things that you can control as a franchisee that the franchisor really doesn't have much control over. The first thing is how you recruit your employees. You can recruit employees pretty much any way you want, obviously as long as it's legal. You can use your, your franchise's Facebook page to look around for employees, LinkedIn. You can ask friends for referrals. There are so many different really interesting ways that you can look for employees for your franchise business. One of the best ways is asking franchisees, the people that you called during your due diligence, ask them how they found their employees. Use their ideas, steal their ideas. It's fine, they're okay with it. You're not competing with them, all right? Number two, there are some marketing things you can do that have nothing to do with the franchisor. For example, whatever your specialty is as a franchise business, let's say it's senior care, why not go out and do free seminars or free speeches about senior care that are strictly informational. What a great way to get your brand known throughout the community. That's just one idea. Also, why not spotlight employees that you have on your Facebook page? Maybe their friends will see that and their friends' parents may use your senior services. There are so many really, really interesting ways that you can do local marketing. One of my favorites though, as I said, is, is doing speeches, free speeches, free seminars in your local area in person so you can educate your local market area on the type of business and the type of franchise you have and what you provide them. But do it in an informational way, attraction. You want people to be attracted to you and to your brand. So there are some marketing things you can do to help grow your business that have nothing to do with the franchisor. Finally, the third thing, one thing you do have control over is your attitude. Go in rocking and rolling every day. And if you want to use someone else's attitude at first or when you're struggling, what about some of the franchisees you've talked to? What about some of the energetic, positive franchisees that are just crushing it? Why don't you use what they're doing? Why don't you use their enthusiasm? Call them, ask them again. What gets them motivated throughout the day? What helps them have a really good attitude? It could help yours also, because every day is not rainbows and unicorns when you own a franchise, but it could be a great experience for you to control things once and for all. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Subscribe to my newsletter and to my blog posts. I'll leave a box under this video. Thanks for watching.